The BRICS bloc agreed to admit Saudi Arabia, Iran, Ethiopia, Egypt, Argentina, and the United Arab Emirates in a move aimed at accelerating its push to reshuffle a world order it sees as outdated. BRICS updated members list looks now like this. China, Brazil, Russia, India, South Africa, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Ethiopia, Egypt, Argentina, and UAE. This membership expansion is historic, Chinese President Xi Jinping said. It shows the determination of BRICS countries for unity and cooperation with the broader developing countries. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres attended Thursday's expansion announcement, reflecting the bloc's growing influence. He echoed BRICS' long-standing calls for reforms of the UN Security Council, International Monetary Fund and World Bank. Today's global governance structures reflect yesterday's world, he said. For multilateral institutions to remain truly universal, they must reform to reflect today's power and economic realities. BRICS is not competing with anyone, Russia's President Vladimir Putin said. But it's also obvious that this process of the emerging of a new world order still has fierce opponents. This is what it looks like, joint list of today's member states with countries which are looking forward to joining. Because most of the new BRICS members are considered to be developing economies, their addition to the group will not have a major impact on its overall share of GDP. The following table includes GDP projections for 2023, courtesy of the IMF. The original six BRICS members are expected to have a combined GDP of $27.6 trillion in 2023, representing 26.3% of the global total. With the new members included, expected GDP climbs slightly to $30.8 trillion, enough for a 29.3% global share. We can see that the BRICS expansion will grow the group's share of global exports, merchandise trade, to 25.1%, up from 20.2%, unsurprisingly, China is the world's largest exporter. Major exporters that are not a part of BRICS include the US, 8.3%, Germany, 6.6%, the Netherlands, 3.9%, and Japan, 3%. Although the world is trying to move away from fossil fuels, the global oil market is still incredibly large, and BRICS is set to play a much bigger role in it. This is mostly due to the admission of Saudi Arabia, which alone accounts for 12.9% of global oil production, based on 2022 figures from the Energy Institute Statistical Review of World Energy. BRICS share of oil production will grow from 20.4% to 43.1%. BRICS has always represented a major chunk of global population thanks to China and India, which are the only countries with over 1 billion people, the two biggest populations being added to BRICS are Ethiopia, 126.5 million, and Egypt, 112.7 million. It's possible that BRICS could eventually surpass 50% of global population, as many more countries have expressed their desire to join.
BRICSPAY is a digital payments platform that is being jointly developed by the member countries of the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, Economic Bloc. BRICSPAY aims to enable digital payments between the different countries in BRICS Plus format, allowing businesses and consumers to securely and seamlessly make and receive payments in their local currency. The platform is designed to reduce the cost and complexity of international payments, while also providing a secure and reliable way to pay for goods and services.